Hello students, uh, we are continuing with the discussions of 1857 revolt. In the social causes, the, the Brahmana community was felt that it was danger to their hegemony. The orthodox Hindus were rejected the religious policy of the Christian missionaries. The Brahmanas develop unfavorable sentiments of the British military leaders. The Christian missionaries gave equal treatment to the untouchables. So the Brahmanas were supported the rebels to protect Hindu religion. They thought that their hegemony was threatened and they started opposing the British rule on the grounds that they will be their position will be threatened and they will be dethroned from Indian communities and they are losing their respect in Indian society. The reforms, next point, uh, we are more to the next point of social causes. The reform with a view of different angles. The British were introduced different reforms or social changes in Indian society. Indians were looked in different means of social reforms. The development of British India were also suspected by the Indians. We are having an example of that. The abolition of Sati 1829, remarriage act of 1856, prohibition of child marriage show the interference of the British, the religious customs of the peoples and Brahmanas did not like the construction of railways, telephone and telegraphs or modern means of communications were not accepted by the orthodox families. Next point, the traditional belief with regard to pollution. The Hindus began to believe that government mix the dust of cow bones in the salt and throw the flesh of cows into the wells. The fear of pollution brought Indians together against British company. Racial arrogances of the British people. The racial arrogances of the British went on increasing with the increase of expansion of their political power in India. It antagonized the Indians against British. The year 1832, the year 1850, the law was passed concerning the succession of property. The Religious Disabilities Act of 1856 also declared that no one could deprive of his hereditary property right on the ground of changing his religion. He will be convert to any religion, especially the period of British, British period, they are convert to Christianity, they will be right to our property. Thus the Indians felt that generally the government was interfering in the religion and social traditions of the Indians, caused the outbreak of 1857 revolt. Next main point, there is a military causes, discontent of the sepoys. The, British imperialist was rightly said that the Sipai mutiny, the Sipai war of the Sipais fought against British. On the considerable discontent shows by the Indian army due to various reasons. The Indian soldiers were never had any chance of promotions in the army. They are given a different uh, problems or different uh, enmity between the enmity between British and the rulers and the ruled Indian soldiers were thought that we having no chance of promotion in the army. All the important positions were reserved for European officers. The pay and the allowances of the Indian soldiers were also very low when compared to the Indian soldiers. The lowest rank in the army, the Subedar was given to Indians and they given a salary of just rupees 70 rupees per month. And the year 1856, the British passed General Service Enlistment Act. According to this act, those who are not ready to serve anywhere, those who are ready to serve anywhere in the world could be appointed as a soldiers. Those who are not ready to serve in anywhere in the world or they were not ready to cross overseas, they were not appointed in the soldiers in the army. Soldiers went sea across the sea, across the sea, which was against their religion. All attempts were made to convert Indian soldiers to Christianity. 
further the privileges of sending letters to of free charges to indians soldiers were also stopped by british indian soldiers were the backbone of the mutiny they started revolts on several grounds different in pay scale we having a the different discrimination shown by british officers to indians on the bay of difference pay scales to the indians indian soldiers were paid less salaries than european soldiers the highest paid indian soldier was subedar one of the lowest rank in the army and was less than minimum pay was given to the fresh english recruited officer very less salary was paid to the indian soldiers indian next the british as like as british soldiers indian soldiers were also not trusted and war weapons were also not under the control of the british the loyalty of the indian soldiers were doubted by british next reason promotions were also not given to the indian soldiers in the military field highest post occupied by the indian was subedar he joined as a subedar and he was till his retirement he was continue as a subedar in the army there is no chance of indians to get promotions to the higher positions in the army next reason obligations to serve in the overseas territories hindu soldiers were dissatisfied because they had to go to foreign countries and fight for the benefit of the great britain they are representing india but they were fight on the benefit of the british british country and also along with that there also have the op of the opinion that if the indians were cross seas they will losing their religion or they are outcasted from their religion the muslim soldiers were not ready to fight with those mohammed the afghan ruler issue of religion here once again the soldiers muslim soldiers were thought that those mohammed was an muslim ruler fight against those mohammed was against their religion that is why muslim soldiers were refused to fight against the british crimea war the year 1854 the war between russia and turkey the year 1854 there is a generally of the opinion that turkey was a sick man of europe the turkey was in the stage of dying the ruler of turkey mehmet ali was also thought that the turkey was not having a bright future in europe but in the year 1854 russia declared war against turkey the year 1854 and uh, turkey the issue of religion issue of uh, who will be get control over the holy place of christians there is issue of jerusalem that was continued for war continued for two years and in the year 1854 turkey was succeeded in defeating one of the biggest nation of the world at that time russia with the support of italy england and persia the during the time of crimea war we having a one lady this was, she was rendered humanitarian services without any expectations or without any uh, needs or without any thoughts of the people she florence nightingale served the wounded soldiers and she earned the popular name a lady of lamb after crimea war the treaty of paris was concluded in the year 1856 red cross was established all over the world in the year 1864 another discontent of the soldiers stopping a special alliances during the first anglo afghan war in the year 1843 the special alliances were given to the indian soldiers it was stopped in the year 1843 indian soldiers were fought with the armies of sin they are also not get special alliances that was we can say that bata serving outside india otherwise double alliances was given to the indians those were serving outside india uh, another reason ill treatment of indian soldiers the ordinary indian sepoys were not respected in the army they were abused insulted they were called as dasyus pigs or they were greatly insulted by the british this hurts the feelings of the soldiers another one disbanded soldiers in the sindh army the army those were serving in the 
Aud army, they were disbanded, the Pindaris, Tucks and many soldiers, those were removed from the military services. They lost their jobs and started heading towards British and they involved in 1857 revolt. In the year 1856, the British annexed Aud on the grounds of mal administration. The Nawab Wazid Ali Shah and Begum Hazrat Mahal lost their territories and all the territories of Aud was annexed on the grounds of mal administration. The soldiers, those who are serving in the Nawab's army, they joined hands during the time of 1857 revolt. Another point, drawbacks in the army. Indian soldiers were know that weaknesses in the Indian army. The strength of the Indian soldiers were compared to British soldiers were higher or percentage of Indian soldiers were higher in the army, but the troops were not properly distributed. In some places, only Indian soldiers and there is no British troops. There is a discrimination was continued in the British army. We are reaching to the last points of the military causes. They approaching the centenary year of Battle of Plassey. The year 1757, the Battle of Plassey was fought between British and the Nawab of Bengal, Sirajuddaula. The British governor, Robert Clay, was succeeded in defeating Sirajuddaula. Sirajuddaula was defeated on June 23, 1757, and he was defeated and killed for the first time. Battle of Plassey was laid the foundation of British rule in India in the year 1757. The soldiers were now getting ready to revolt against British with the, on the day of approaching centenary year of Battle of Plassey. The soldiers were thought that it was the right time or right opportunity to revolt against British in the year 1857. Lastly, Indian soldiers respected Mughal emperor from so many centuries during the period of Hindu period or Muslim period, Delhi Sultanates or Mughal period, India was ruled by rulers. Indian soldiers having a great respect to Mughal army or Mughal royal family and they thought that it was their responsibility or duty to respect to the Mughal emperor. The Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah II, at the age of 80 was also thought of that was wanted to become a ruler of India and wanted to control over the Mughal territories. It inspired the Indian soldiers take action against British and uh, uh, along with that the Indian soldiers was realized that whatever the actual fact during the period of British rule was uh, not truth and Indian rulers and along with Indian soldiers. Turned into, be a, turned into be a revolt against British authorities, leads to the outbreak, outburst of 1857 revolt. Thank you.